NFL Hotlands Collectors. Poundland is absolutely awesome. Unfortunately, now it has stopped, but they had in the original Hot Wheels road tripping. And I, of course, brought a fair few. Let's go through them, shall we? First of all, we have the backwards bomb, which is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at the background. That is absolutely beautiful. There we have the backwards bomb. It's pretty cool. Very heavy casting as well. Metal base, metal body, plastic canopy, which doesn't open anymore. Still, very nice model indeed. Very nice. Some of these are in order, some of them aren't. Next we have the 69 Dodge Charger. This is an absolutely beautiful one. These are all famous places, I presume, in America or other countries. Nothing for Britain, unfortunately. Oh, I don't suppose we have a famous road, unless you include the M11, in which case, sit in traffic for a few hours, unless you're at night or in a non-peak time. Beautiful car, beautiful model, though. Next we have the Highway Hauler 2 from Mount Fuji. Really nice model. I mean, that side, that is how you get a load of graphics on. That is how you get a load of graphics on. Next we have the wonderfully, wonderfully beautiful uh, Nissan Skyline GTR-R uh, GT R34 in this beautiful crimson pinky colour. That is gorgeous. It's of course uh, Mount Fuji road work or talk road. Beautiful, beautiful car. Really popular. Like I say, all these have now gone and now all they've got is international long cards, but these were pretty impressive. Neat Streeter. They always usually do like a, a line of these somewhere in time because they always like to enjoy a few of them. But same as the other one. Same as uh, the backwards bomb. But again, like I say, they usually get in a few USA ones. That would explain why over the years we've gotten like the Jukebox series. It would be really nice if we could get some other stuff as well from them, like the Easter series. Because Poundland do Easter stuff. They do Easter, Halloween and Christmas. So why can't they get the cars in as well? They could stick that down their area. They'd make a lot more money as well from the old models because, hey, we don't get them. Next is MX-48 Turbo with Burlap Pass. Again, like I say, I think these are places in America or Japan or other places. Like I say, the UK doesn't really have any popular roads. Still, these are very nice to get because they are absolutely lovely to look at and display. 47 Chevy Fleetline. Very nice model, this one. Do like my Chevy Fleet lines from the 40s and 30s. Mind you, any car that's uh, USA from like the 30s is pretty rare. Anything from the 40s, unless a Woody, is also pretty rare because remember we had the war going on, so metal was limited. Next we have Riveted in a lovely, beautiful blue, absolutely gorgeous blue. Look at that blue; that is lovely. I really do like that blue. Very nice one indeed. This is from the K4 Great Ocean Road. No idea where that is. Again, like I say, most of these places are probably in America. But either way, still cool. We then have the Classic Nomad. Not the Chevy Nomad, the Classic Nomad. So maybe this is what I should be looking the... Um, maybe this is what I should be putting this under, the Chevy Nomad, but as uh, the Classic Nomad. This is, of course, um, Australian, because it's got kangaroo across in. Very nice indeed. Not a common, uh, uncommon car to probably see out there. Very nice indeed. Next we have another one. We have the Nissan Skyline H uh, slash T2000 GT-X. Really good one this. They did have another one there, but unfortunately I didn't have much money. I instead brought something else that I saw in Poundland. I'll get onto that in a moment. Next we have the 70 Chevelle SS Wagon. This is the one that's recently been converted into a um, stock car, or not a stock car, a um, uh, demo derby car. So this is what one would look normally, and the other one of course, you know what that looks like. Very cool model indeed, very nice to get. I do hope they bring out more of that demo derby one. Next we have the custom 56 Ford truck, and this is actually the last one. Like I say, there's 21 cars, and out of all of them I've got a fair collection, so if they do any more of these that'd be great. But like I say, I've been around most of the Poundlands, Cambridge, Newmarket. Haver Hill, I suspect, probably would have cleared them out by now, because, again, new stuff. Again, this is a heavy model. This is really heavy. The thing is, because it's metal body, uh, metal 
base. And even though they have cut some of the bed out of the truck, you just see it there, that's still all pure metal. So that makes it very heavy, very heavy model. Next, like I say, they had some international long cards. So whilst they were selling those, I had a look. I managed to find the Ollie Rocket. Sadly, a slightly damaged package one. Although it was buffed up a little bit. There's a little bit of a hole here where the spoiler's gone through. But again, this is the uh, card that was made for the Make-A-Wish kid. It does actually have custom something on the side. It's pretty cool because, again, like I say, this is going to become a collectible. Even though sort of like it's not that collectible now, it'll become a collectible because everybody will want to know it. We then have a Hover Storm in the second colouring. Gotta love me some fantasy boat models. Speaking of fantasy, that'll be coming up in a moment. But anyway, now usually Poundland offers me a fair amount. Now, admittedly, I find the odd super. I haven't found a single 2016 treasure hunt. But I did happen to see the white Ford Escort. And I thought, oh, the white Ford Escort, one that I haven't seen. I need it. Gone. Uh, I also need some sticky tape as well, for obvious reasons. Um, I was there looking through, and I just happened to see a twinkling of something. And I thought... That looks different to the other ones of its model. So, all I could see was that much from the side. Literally just that much. And I was thinking, I was looking at the picture, I was thinking, oh, it looks different to the normal Tesla. I wonder why. Super treasure hunt. I don't know whether to class this as 2016 or 2015. Because I think this is the first super. So does it count as a 2015 super I found? Or does it count as a 2016 super? Ooh, well, seeing as I didn't find a 2015 super treasure hunt, I'm going to count it as a 2015. So hopefully in 2017 I'll find the uh, other one. Treasure hunt logo is on the rear. But like I say... Really, really lucky to find that. <clears throat> I reckon they had either restocked or that had literally been missed by someone. I'd say, no idea on the treasure hunts because I haven't seen any. I, I have not seen any normal basic treasure hunts. I mean, are they phasing them out for the supers to make more or is it just a case of they're getting really picky? Don't know. But either way, that is all the cardish stuff. Really nice stuff. Unfortunately, now all gone. But again, like I say, Poundland is doing good stuff. But unfortunately, it's all stuff at the moment that I'm not really into. It's nice stuff, but I'm more after more specific stuff now, like the 2016 stuff. I think most of this is now sort of like along the lines of uh, whenever these came out. So like last of the um, P and Q cases of 2015. Maybe some A cases as well, but they don't seem to have this design on the side of them. They have this design, but not many of them. And they're all international, because this one's international as well, because it's got the red logo on the back. See the red lighting? Still pretty cool to get a super treasure hunt. Really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you next.